Hello, I am Andrew Medina of 3MEA and for today I'll be giving a video lecture on how I came up with my answers for the three position kinematic synthesis of four barred mechanism with specified coupler positions. So our objective today is to provide appropriate dimensions of linkages for a four bar mechanism that will satisfy the required constraints. So we are to choose between two items, item one and item two, and I'll be choosing item one. For the instructions of item one, you were commissioned to design a dumps, dumper container that is used to transfer items as shown in the figure. Through the given three positions A and B will be the piv pivot points for your attachments. Use the given scale and determine the dimensions and initial configuration of the links of the four bar mechanisms necessary for this application. Use the given scale. Now, what we need to do is trace this figure into another sheet of paper. Okay? And we'll synthesize using graphical method. So what I'll do first I'll use a black pen and then I'll carefully outline what we need to trace and rewrite it so it's much more clear so I can see it more clearly when I place this paper on top here. Okay, I'll show you what happens next. So after highlighting these three figures and their positions using a pen and then carefully tracing it over with a sheet of paper, I will now finalize these figures using a pen. Okay, so now that we've finalized our figures using pen, I also took the liberty of labeling the points, the pivot points, and also measuring each of the figures. Our first position is A, A B, our second position is A prime B prime, and our third position would be A double prime B double prime. The first thing I'm going to do here is connect the first position of A to the second position, to the A at the second position, and then connect the A at the second position to the A at the third position. So let's do that now. Okay, so now that we're done with that, uh, we shall find the perpendicular bisectors of the two lines that we've just drawn using a ruler and a calculator and then project those two lines till the point of intersection and that should be our fixed hinge O2. Let's do that now. Okay, so now that we've found the intersection of the two perpendicular bisector of these two lines, we shall do the same thing to find fixed hinge O4. We shall do the same process of connecting B from the first position to B prime from the second position. Then we shall connect B prime from the second position to B double prime from the third position. Let's do that now. Okay, let's now measure the two lines that we've drawn in red with our ruler in centimeters and now calculate the, perp the bisector of these two lines. We'll do the same thing and extend their perpendicular bisector and find their intersection to find fixed hinge O4. Let's do that now. Okay, so now we're gonna start drawing our links for our four bar mechanism. And for link one, we have A to O2. And then our link two would be A to B. Our link three would be B to O4. And finally, our last link would be O2 to O4. Let's start drawing those links. So this is now officially our linkages for our four bar mechanism and I want you to notice that crank O2A would rotate clockwise in that direction. I also want you to notice that our couplers would pass through each of these positions, positions 1, 2, and 3 as the four bar mechanism rotates. Now all that's left to do 
is to measure each of the links, find their angle of de or degree using our compass, and project them to a more isolated view, maybe down here. Let's do that now. All right, so your final answer should look like this. Notice how I displayed the scale. And I also displayed the appro appropriate dimensions of linkages for a four bar mechanism. Thank you and have a nice day. <laughs>